The two best cheap and budget magnetic options for a magnetic cube are the usual little Magic M and the YGM GC. A lot of people ask me, since I have both, which one is actually better? Hello guys, Keeper Cubes here, and today I'm telling you guys which one's better, the Asian Little Magic or the YGM GC. So, let's get right into it. I just want to remind you all, this is of course not a review, so I'm not going to be going in depth into much puzzles, I'm just going to be comparing them. So we do need to give you some background info, info on, on both of these puzzles. So let's do this. So starting off with the Ledger MGC's background information. This cube is about $15, depends on uh, the cube store you get it. And it comes with some really bright shades that are really nice. This cube overall has very nice stickers with a full bright side, but does not come with stickerless, which is a con to it. This cube also features primarily internals, as you can see, and some loop can get on them. So a few people don't like, oh, if you don't like things getting on white stuff, then I guess it's a con, but it really doesn't bother me. This cube does come with a really nice box, but I personally don't have it. Since I bought this cube at a competition from somebody else, so I currently do not have the box. So, let's go into the usual little magic. Little well, magic comes in at about $20, depends on what magnetic version you get, or where you get it, but this cube is really nice. This cube comes with really nice, full, bright shades for all. Sticker list, and also comes in stickered, and if you buy the Google Labs version, you can get custom stickered, which is really nice. This cube does not have primary inter internals, and just a pretty basic piece mechanism. This cube also has a really nice frosted plastic, which some people like, but some people don't. So yeah. That's it for the white little magic. So today we're gonna be judging these these um, three cubes on three criteria. First, performance. Second, feel. And third, overall stats. We already went over the stats, so we're not gonna go back into that, but we're gonna get onto performance now. So, let's do this. So, performance for the YJMGC. This cube is very smooth turning. Well, that is the feel. This cube comes in at a very controllable speed and has a very soft sound that is very present to listen to. This cube is also really blocky, though I don't know if that's a feel part of the performance. The corner cutting on this cube is about 45 reverse, but it just requires some effort. And the reverse cutting, to be honest, isn't that good. And now for forwards, it just does about the same thing a lot of cubes do, so it does require some extra force, which I don't like. This cube does not turn with much ease, if I have to be honest, but this cube still has a very nice feeling, which I will be talking about later. This cube is on the slower side, so people with a more strong, more harsh turning style will probably enjoy it a tiny bit more than me. So, let's get into the little magic. So the Yushin Little Magic. The Yushin Little Magic is a lot different than the MGC. This cube is lightning fast, even after setup with lots of weight 5, but still retains a really nice soft, crispy sound. This cube is crispy when you're turning, and also has a very controllable speed, even though it's really fast, because of the magnet. This cube is very stable and does not wobble much, unlike the, like the MGC, which does not wobble either. The M slices turn a lot better than on the MGCs. This cube's M slices flow with ease, and it's easy, well, easy, maybe easier than the actual later turns. This cube, I think, hits my turning style, though it is in pretty loose tension. But this cube does not tend to pop, but it's still it's super fluid. The sound of this cube is also a little louder than the MGC, so if you're looking for a quieter cube, then you might look into the MGC. So, let's look on to my favorite category, feel. So, let's start off with the YJMGC. This cube is extremely more old cube. This cube is a lot more, feels a lot more old than other modern speed cubes, and it has more of a blocky, more controllable feel. This cube is super, super smooth, and it's actually barely hard to hear when you're turning really slowly. 
This cube also flows really well because it's controllable speed. But the field, in my opinion, is probably one of my favorite field cubes in my collection. Just because of the amazingly smoothness of this cube. This cube flows super, super well. And with it's really good. But it's really nice to get overall really enjoy solving on it. Because the turning just flows because of the amazing feel. Because this cube is just so nice and smooth. So let's get on to the one to the little magic. Now, the little magic. This cube is a little bit more different than the MGC. As I said in the performance category, this cube is a little louder and crisper. This cube is more of a crispy, lightning fast, fusion raw speed feel, like the Huanlong. If you don't have a Huanlong, then you can check out my Fusion Little Magic vs. Huanlong video where I do where I do talk a little bit more in depth about the feel of the Huanlong. So, this cube overall has a very nice fluidity, and with the sliding fast speed, I usually when the corner cuts happen and they just flow really well. The usual, because of the usual little magic, it's very, very good corner cutting. This cube flows a lot better than a lot of other cubes in my collection, and it's by far one of the best cubes, crispy cubes I've ever tried. Even though I did loop this cube with some heavy loops, which usually make your cube smoother, this cube still retains a nice and satisfying crispy feel. So, let's get on to the final thoughts. First, the wide jam GC turned out to be a really nice fluid cube with great, not the best corner cutting, but still a great feel that makes up for it. This cube turns with not much ease, but it's still controllable and it's very good for people with a harsher turning style. So the magic is a little bit different. This cube is a lot crispier and more of a fusion raw speed that I talked about in the long long in one of my other videos. This cube flows really well and I would really recommend it since it's really crispy. Now, which one's better? Let's see. Both of these cubes are amazing. The YJM GC is awesome, and the Yusha Little Magic is just as great. But which one do I prefer, and which one should you get? Because that's the real question here. So, not to be honest, but I personally prefer the Yusha Little Magic because of its more fast, crispy feel that allows me to get good times on it. Now, the MGC, I still love the feel a little bit more than the YJM GCs, but because the MGC lacks corner cutting and my lighter turning cell avoids me from using a lot of force on my corner cuts, I lock up a tiny bit on the MGC, which is not preferable. Now, the YJM GC is still great for people who have a more of a harsh turning style, and people with a lighter turning style, I would really just recommend the Magic just because it's a little bit more suited for people who turn lighter and with better corner cutting. These two cubes are great and I would really recommend them. So if you want to even get both, you can check the cubicle.com, the link in the description. Not sponsored. Well, that's all I have to say for today. Again guys, don't forget so much for watching. And as always, don't leave, leave a comment down below which one do you like first? Better. Now both of these cubes are really great and you know what's also great? Me getting to 150 subscribers before the end of 2018. If you already have seen some of my videos, you already know my ultimate goal for the end of the year, but my ultimate goal for the end of the year is to reach 150 subscribers. I'm very, I'm working a lot harder of putting daily videos out there so I can reach this goal, so I really would appreciate if you did subscribe if you're new to this channel. Well, I'm getting a little cocky now. Again guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my videos, and leave a comment down below, which one do you like best? You don't even have to own one, you just have to try one at a competition. Keep your cubes. Comparison. YJ MGC 3x3. Sound comparison, Houston Little Magic M. And if you're wondering, sound comparison, Houston Huan Long.